What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we're going to be talking about how narcissists actually care about what other people think. I know when people say narcissists don't care what other people think, yeah, yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. Boom. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, yes, yes. They do care. Regardless of what you hear, regardless of, regardless of what they might say to you, a lot of narcissists absolutely care what other people think. I'm not saying every single narcissist thinks the same way. I'm not saying every single narcissist feels the same way, y'all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that most narcissists do care what other people think. Yo, think about it like this. Even if, I don't care. I don't care what they say. I don't care who. I don't care who you tell. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you. Yeah, think about it right there. Think about this right here, like this. Like if they don't care so much, why are they so worried about you spilling the beans of what's going on behind the scenes? If they don't care what other people think, why are they so worried about their reputation? Reputation is damn near everything for narcissists, right? Reputation means a lot. To most narcissists and most toxic people, it just does. That's the dynamic. That's the mindset of it all right there. Like, reputation is everything for narcissists. And because they want their they want their reputation to be so good, so bad, like, they protect it at all costs. That includes hurting you, harming you, abusing you, keeping you, isolating you, getting you away from everybody, started, starting a smear campaign on you, threatening you, doing things like that. Like, that's how you know that they care so much about how they are viewed. They do, yo, they really do. They care about how they are viewed because it makes them look, it just does. I don't care what other people think about me. I never care. Yeah, you do. Yo, it's just like, think about it like this. When people say that they don't care about something so much, you gotta know that they actually do. You know what I mean? They're like, you, you, I, you, say, you say that, you, you, you say it, but you, 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 you don't seem like you mean it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, I hear you, just, you say that. It just doesn't feel like you mean it. So that was, that's what happens to so many people right there, y'all. Like, there are so many narcissistic people, toxic people out here, that just absolutely care so much about what people think. Maybe that's why they play so, so, so much close to the cuff. They won't let you share certain things on social media about how they treat you. But the, they, they'll let you share the good stuff, right? Some of them don't. Some of them don't, don't, don't want you to share anything at all. But they want you to share the good stuff, right? Don't share the video of me, of me chasing you down the street with a baseball bat. Don't share that, right? But share the video of me chasing you down the street with some roses or a, a PS5 in a book bag or whatever it is. You know, share, share, those, share those videos right there. Tell, share the videos and tell about how I woke you up to breakfast in bed or some, some early morning cheek clapping, whatever it is. Just share those videos, share those, share those sentiments with the crowd, right? But don't share what I've actually been doing behind the scenes. Don't share the stuff that's gonna actually paint the correct image of me. Not, you, you hear me say, not a bad image, the correct image. Not a bad image, the correct image. You're not, like, yeah, that's what people say like, well, I hear I talk to so many people, my Zoom coaches, my one on ones and whatnot, right? Well, people say I just don't want to ruin their reputation. Like, like you're not ruin. I just don't, don't want to make the world. Just, I don't want people, other people to see if they're. I don't want to make. I don't want to make them narcissistic robot resetting, overloading system talking too damn fast. I just don't want people to think that they're a bad person. They are. You're not making people think anything. You're telling people the truth. Yo, if the truth makes this person look like a bad person because they are a bad person, it's not you making them look like anything. You know what I mean? Nar if narcissists don't care what other people think, then why the hell are they smear campaigning you? Why the hell is one of the narcissist's biggest fears exposure, being exposed? Why, y'all? Turn that logic upside down. Turn it upside down on his head. Now, again, like I said earlier, are there some narcissists that absolutely do not care what other people think? Yes, those people are going to be a little, bit, a little bit higher up the scale right there. What I mean by up the scale, they're going to be like your, your sociopaths, your psychopaths, right? They're going to be up there a little bit more. 
They're not gonna be your, just your regular run of the mill narcissist. Unless, like now, if a narcissist is going through, like you cause them a narcissistic injury, and you embarrass them or you did expose them, th then they might not care about what people think when they're trying to get vengeance on you because they want to. They want to hurt you, right? They only see the hurt and the pain. They only see the anger. So they want to put you in anger. They want to put you. They want to put you through it, right? They want to hurt you. They want to cause this type of stuff to you. They want to cause this pain to you because you caused them a narcissistic injury. How dare you in cause this injury on me? So I have to pay you back. And I don't give a damn what people think about me. So if you cause a narcissistic injury, they might not actually care what other people think. Well, Lee, how did I, how, I, all I did was leave them. How, I, I haven't done anything, Lee. I didn't expose them. I didn't tell anybody what happened. All I did was leave and they still are doing exactly what you just said. They're still coming at me. They don't care what people think. They're holding it, withholding the kids. They're posting stuff about me on social media. They don't care. You caused a narcissistic injury by leaving. It could be y'all. You leaving could be all it takes for a narcissistic injury to happen. Like you leaving them could be all it takes to for a narcissistic injury to occur. You like seriously. That's all it takes sometimes is to you to pack your stuff up. And ha you've had, like, yeah, you've had enough. And that causes narcissistic injury because you rejected them. Rejection can breed obsession because of obsession, they can be obsessed with repairing that narcissistic injury, that big crack. You mean they got a scarlet injury across their head. You know what I mean? Reputation is so important to them, y'all. If, like, if narcissists don't care what other people think, again, y'all ask you why they're out here preemptively starting a smear campaign on you. Why, why are they out here treating you badly, right? They're absolutely treating you badly, right? But they're starting a smear campaign on you. They're treating you badly. They're doing everything in the book to hurt you and make you look bad, right? But they're telling everybody else lies. They're getting ahead of it. While they, they, they haven't even left you yet. Y'all are still together. The smear campaign can start when y'all are still together. I'm gonna do a longer video on that right there. The, it, like I said, it can actually begin while y'all are still together because narcissistic people, this is how you know, and this is how you know, like, this is how you know narcissists are worried about what they think, what you think, worried about what other people think. Because the smear campaign starts while you're still together. Like, they, they, they start these rumors while you're still with them. Because they know if you, when y'all, if y'all do break up and they get exposed, they already planted these seeds of doubt. They've already started all these rumors about you. So people might not believe what you've been doing or what, what they've been going through, what they've been experiencing. There's going to be, they're, they're casting this, this shadow of doubt out here. They're doing this type of stuff preemptively to mess with you. They are because they are afraid that their reputation is going to get touched and people are going to look at them. They, people are going to look at them as bad people. And that's, a narcissist, that's another one of narcissists' biggest fear, for people to think that they are bad people. That's another one of a narcissist's biggest fears right there, right? Because they, they, don't, they, want, they don't want people to think that they are a bad person, right? They don't want people to think that, you know, they don't want people to think that they are bad people. Bad people. I'm writing this. I'm, I'm giving myself ideas, y'all. I text these ideas to myself, and they go to my other phone, and they just sit right there. Now I do videos on them. <laughs> Y'all gonna see a video come up here, and one of the narcissist's biggest fears is other people to think that they're bad people. That's gonna be down the road though, because I feel like that might be a little similar to the one I'm doing right now. Um, I'll, that, that'll be in my notebook, in my remarkable tablet. That'll be in my remarkable. I don't know where it's at. Um, but that's the type of stuff right there, y'all. They don't want people to think that they're bad people. They want to. They want. They want to justify their actions so they get ahead of stuff by starting this smear campaign. They are so afraid of other, what other people think. That they would, they try to instill fear into you. They do all these narcissistic rage episodes. They scream at you. They yell at you. They do all of this stuff to you to put fear into your heart. That hey, if you expose me, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to ruin your life. You know what I mean? Or they just use their exes as an example. Like yeah, if you get with a person and they are actively torturing their ex with child support, uh, showing up late, not showing up at all with the kids and stuff like that, what do you think your future holds? Let me say it like that. What do you think your future holds if they are torturing their current ex like that? You know what I'm saying? There's the, their son's father or their daughter's mother, whatever it is in these spaces right here. They're torturing their ex. What do you think their future holds for you? What makes you any different? I'll say it right there. 
That's what I feel like I have to say that. What makes you, 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 any different in the situation right here? That's something you have to think about, y'all. That's something you have to consider right there when you're moving forward as you're trying to heal and as you're trying to grow. Like I said, if you've escaped this relationship and you get into a new one and you see this type of stuff early, those are what we refer to in the biz as red flags. Look at the air. The air hitting me. The wind, look, red flag wind. <laughs> the wind of the red flag. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all tuning in to another video. I know it's Sunday and whatnot. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. We'll drop the little nuggets on you. The narcissists absolutely do care what other people think. Um, again, y'all, at the end of this video, November 2nd, November 3rd, we're in Dallas and Houston, Texas, respectively. November 2nd, Dallas, November 3rd, Houston for our live in-person workshops. You can get registered for that at mentalhealness.net slash events. You can enter the code MENTAL10, mental, M-E-N-T-A-L-1-0 for 10% off, y'all. It's not very expensive anyway, but just going to shoot that discount off for, because you roll with me to the end of this video. Thank y'all so much. I'm out. Oh, my goodness. Mental Healness is out. Peace. <laughs> Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people. And click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.